Hey guys, Tom Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom. It's time for me to do a spoiler review for Jurassic World. So the movie opens up with this raptor hatching out of an egg, and then as soon as it, as soon as it cuts away from that, we see this family and these two kids that are getting ready to head out to Jurassic World for some reason, which I forget quite honestly, but um. They arrive there to meet their aunt, whose name I also forget, um, and they start to explore this park, which is really well themed as far as what a park would probably look like if it was based off of Jurassic World, if you will. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and after they lose their uh, babysitter, they go off and do whatever. But um, there's like a few other segments in there, and then we get introduced to Chris P Pratt's character, uh, who can apparently control the raptors somewhat. Um, he's like training them. He does this like whole fish thing, and then this is there's this guy who's really interested in wanting to use these raptors as weapons he's trying to convince uh chris or i think his name in the movie was owen i'm pretty sure that was it but um trying to convince him to use these as a weapon and he's like no it's not a really good idea and he says that this is going to carry out with or without him and that's sort of a line that is repeated a second time a little later on but um after that we are told that the late the lady the aunt of these children who also runs the park is, is said to have create help into the creation of this I think it was called an Adonis Rex or as the spoiler is I'll just call him Raptor Rex because he's part Raptor and a part of a few other animals, I believe. Um, the doctor in the original Jurassic Park was there to explain that, sort of explain that these other animals, I guess, were also a part of it. He didn't necessarily confirm it. He was just explaining what these animals were could were capable of doing. So I assume that the other animals that were also put in this uh, Raptor Rex, but um. Yeah, it does escape, and all hell breaks loose in the park, where apparently there's, like, no possibility of escaping, which I think is kind of ridiculous, that there was no contingency plan for if something like this happened, but, um, the people are all sort of starting to, oh, I'm, I mean, um, before that happens, um, the kids are exploring, uh, and they, and they eventually go off, off course with this little ball sphere thing. We've seen it in the commercials a dozen times, and I thought it was ridiculous. But it was only there to serve the purpose of trying to somehow recreate the original scene, which is done way so much better in the original, by the way. Um... And they're dropped, and then they end up running sort of in a different direction and running into a waterfall. And then they end up in the original park or the, the original facility or something of where Jurassic 1 the park was or whatever, or just the building. And at any rate, um, they end up getting a jeep to work somehow. Um, and then they end up somehow getting back to the park. I don't know. I don't know how they knew which direction to head in to end up back in the park. They just sort of, I guess they just sort of knew. I don't know. So that's one thing that I do find a little bit off with this movie is that it's really hard to tell where they're sort of going in some in that direction or whatever. But um. Uh, the Raptor Rex is out, he ends up, like, wrecking this, um, bird, or, 
uh, what's the uh, dinosaur called? Uh, pterodactyl cage, or I guess they were slightly modified. I couldn't really tell. I think some of them were, and some of them weren't. I don't know. Anyways, they all end up flying towards the park, and then, like I said, then all hell breaks loose in the park. They're trying to get all the the people are all trying to get inside into a, a safe building. Um, the kids are sort of still out there, so uh, the aunt requires the help of Pratt or Owen in this movie to sort of help get them. Uh, they eventually meet up, and then they're told to sort of wait in this truck while Pratt is forced to sort of use the raptors as the sort of initial weapon as the guy kind of originally wanted in this movie. So with that being said, he rides with the raptors as we've seen many times in the commercials. Uh, he sort of rides with them and then they meet the uh, Raptor Rex. And then Raptor X require, uh, changes the Raptor's uh, thing because he's apparently the new alpha of this group. So we kind of get this alien sort of vibe where the marine, these uh, soldiers are sort of out there in the forest and they're being taken out by the, um, <coughs> taken out by the Raptors and we see it through these, uh, the cameras and the lifelines and stuff like that and that was a pretty good uh, way of doing that um, let's see there was a character that was um, I think a lot of people liked him and I was like I don't know how I feel about the character um, there's a, this doctor guy that's our, our computer tech guy I think it was and he's sort of in the main building this entire movie and he's talking about how oh this is wrong <coughs> and um like you can't just do these things where you're like mixing dinosaurs and all this stuff and what about the people and why don't you just brand this stuff and I think it was a bit counterintuitive of him after all, this movie was sort of made, right? So, I don't know how I feel about it. But, um, it, I mean, this movie was good. And it did have its moments of weakness or parts that could have been easily taken out. Um, and one of those parts is a lot of the intro. I mean, the whole Raptor thing, good. The kids going to Jurassic World from their home and all this unnecessary stuff. Uh, I felt it was completely unnecessary to be honest. I mean, they didn't even explain really why they were going or anything like that. But anyways, um, I think the last, I think it was 10, 15 minutes or so where this movie gets really, really good from the whole pterodactyls flying in and they take the lady that was trying to find them, the lady that was supposed to be taking care of them and lost them fairly easily by the way. I didn't even contact the lady earlier so there was that. <coughs> Excuse me, ugh. Doing terrible today but um the Raptor X ends up in there eventually and then you have the whole family moment of Chris and the the aunt lady and the two kids they're at, they're hiding <coughs> and Chris has the raptors with them he gets them back after a few moments of trying to connect with them again uh, they end up betraying Raptor Rex and sort of going after him two of them die um, and the last one ends up coming back after uh, the aunt gets the T-Rex by doing the montage, the, uh, not the montage, but the, um, the whole flare thing from the original movie, um, he gets the, she gets the T-Rex, throws the flare at the Raptor Rex, the Rap, the T-Rex and the Raptor Rex battle went on, the T-Rex does a 
pretty good for a little bit, and then the Raptor X completely starts to, do to dominate. One of the Raptors, which was named Blue, returns and completely charges into uh, Raptor X, and the T Rex and the Raptor X work together in these crazy combos. They end up sort of heading outside with the family that's sort of trying to also get out. And then the Raptor X is sort of led to this place where this tank creature was, and they t sort of displayed this creature three times in the movie. Uh, the first time was sort of uh, just, it eats this animal, and there's the audience, and then they get lower down and to get a better view. That was the first time. The second time, uh, the, pterodact the pterodactyls pick up this lady, the lady that I said was taking care of them, and they sort of throw her up into the other one, into another pterodactyl, and that one sort of carries her over the water, dives her in uh, multiple times, and then it gets uh, eaten by this mega beast thing, crocodile, monster, whatever it is, but um, it ends up coming out of nowhere. Uh, sort of RKO style biting of the Raptor X completely taking him in uh, and after that thing is dead the Raptor X uh, the T-Rex sort of just gives a slight nod off to the Raptor and then the Raptor does the same uh, the T-Rex goes his own way the Raptor goes his own way after giving a little nod off to Chris Pratt and they get off the island I Yes, um, and after that is all done and said with, we get a nice, a really, really nice uh, final shot of the T-Rex uh, sort of just standing over the park in a nice high view, and he does the classic roar, and that is the end of the film. So, this movie definitely does have a lot of good points, and it definitely has a, par a lot of a uh, few points that are completely unnecessary as I said but that intro from the time that it takes from them to get to the uh, their home to Jurassic World all of that is unnecessary to be honest I think this movie could have been perfectly suited for them just to start it in Jurassic World and explain why they're there from that point and then they could have spent a bit more time on either the dinosaurs or really explaining why they're there or something else I don't know definitely probably could have used more dinosaurs if that part was taken out but for what it is it's a good movie I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 I think it's above average uh, and that's my review for Jurassic World. So this has been Thomas Cecilia Jr. A.K.A. Mustache Tom. And I'll see you guys next time.